of you, no doubt, very happy that the mask decision was made. But keep in mind, there are still going to be situations, places that you go to, you're still going to need to wear it. Channel 8's Macy Meyer has what you need to know as we cover Lincoln tonight. Macy. Well, Rod, there's a lot of places that will be dropping that mask requirement after today, but some are legally required to keep it, and others say they have to do it for the health of those they serve. You will still be required to wear a mask, um, you know, so if you come into Lincoln Airport to catch a flight or um, any airport for that matter, um, you will be required to wear a mask. While the Lancaster County mask mandate is set to expire Thursday at midnight, places like the Lincoln Airport will still require mask upon entry. In fact, you need to have a mask handy when going on any public transportation. That's because of a federal mandate that was recently extended by President Joe Biden that will now be in effect until March 18th of 2022. It's kind of reminder that, you know, not to get upset with our customer service staff or, um, you know, TSA or airline employees, you know, we're just following what we are supposed to be following to keep everybody safe. Not following the federal mask mandate could result in a fine and even being placed on a no fly list. Now for other places, that risk of not wearing a mask indoors is a matter of life or death. We serve a community from the ages of anywhere from 55 or 53 to 100. I think my oldest is 100. And they come with many comorbidities. Um, they have a lot of uh, health issues as you get older. And being able to wear a mask, some of them don't, do not have the immune response like a, a healthy 20-year-old would. Senior and assisted living facilities will also have mask requirements. The protection is something Patrasha says has kept their residents at Havelock Manor COVID-free for the past 22 months. She said even if there wasn't a requirement for masks, she will still wear one to make sure those who are vulnerable are kept safe. But I will even wear my mask out in, in the stores and in public because I'm going back in and I'm taking care of that vulnerable population. And I feel like that's my duty because that's what I signed up for is to serve and protect these residents. Now, also a reminder for you, private businesses are allowed to require masks for entry if they want, even if there isn't a county mandate. All right, some good information. Macy Meyer, thank you so much for our top story tonight.